cardinal vlogs and i just wanted to preface this video before you watch it by saying a yes i know my hair is purple i lost a bet and it's gonna stay purple for a little bit b this is my bad excuse at a top 10 and well in august of 2020 you guys will understand why this top 10 comes into play i just wanted to let you guys know this i am gonna source all of my videos down in the description but this is my bad excuse at a top 10 video. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys later. Hey guys, it's Cardinal Vlogs. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm doing a different type of video today. That right there is the beautiful beaches of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Myrtle Beach is known for the 60 miles of beach and hotels known as the Grand Strand. It is also known for shopping and golf, but today in this video we are going to be doing a different type of golf. We are going to be doing the top 10 mini golf courses in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Myrtle Beach is known for mini golf and golf. It has almost 30 mini golf courses, over 100 regular courses, and some of these mini golf courses are the best in the world. They have so many themes from lost treasure to jungles to dragons to fantasy to captain hook to pirates to volcanoes they have so many different designs so many of them are so good and i'm going to be sharing with you the top 10 in the myrtle beach area for you today before i get into this i just want to say that these are all based off my personal opinion my personal experiences and ratings from other youtube videos describing the mini golf so with that being said, let's get right into this with number 10. Coming in at number 10 is Shipwreck Island, located on the south side of Myrtle Beach, where Highway 17 and o Ocean Boulevard meet. This has 36 holes, two different courses. You can play and weave through the waterfalls, through the caves, and they have two different shipwrecks. One of the shipwrecks you can actually play because it's a hole. Um, the reason it's so high up on this list is because it's still a good course, but all in all, the holes aren't too dramatic. They have maybe one or two really long holes and really, really interesting holes. But other than that, it's fairly easy. Coming in at number nine, we have Hawaiian Rumble located in North Myrtle Beach. Hawaiian Rumble is home of the U.S. Pro Mini Golf Association. They host the Masters, which is like the real Masters at Augusta, but for mini golf. It's a fairly straightforward course. Every single one is possible to make a hole in one. I think the lowest score there is a 23. The only problem that I have with this course is that there's not really any obstacles and they just switch to rocks instead of bricks, so your ball will get a weird kick versus on bricks. Back down to Myrtle Beach for number eight at Dragon's Lair Fantasy Golf. Dragon's Lair is located at Broadway at the beach. It has two 18-hole courses, and every half hour it has a dragon show where the dragon and the volcano talk to each other. It's a great course, and I don't see a problem with this. Now, as of making this video, I realized something, and it's not very good for the course. So in late 2019, they tore down one side of the course. So what you're seeing is footage from before. And now you're seeing what happened to the left side of the course. And I did even more research. And four days ago, a video was uploaded by Myrtle Beach and things. This course is now completely gone. So this course is no longer playable. It would have been my number eight, but they tore it down and they're putting... Uh, something new in so maybe it's another mini golf course we can only hope alrighty the real number eight here is spyglass golf located in the downtown area of Myrtle Beach now this course uses rocks as borders as well which I am not a fan of they also have little areas that don't have any borders where there's rocks and water so a lot of hazards it's not very easy a lot of the holes are very very long so you have to be able to hit the ball straight to not get a six on every hole it is only 18 holes which is another downside most courses down in myrtle beach are 36 but as you can see some are only 18 which can be a downside all in all this is a good course a lot of surrounding waters and some of the barriers are not very tall so it can also jump in the water and lose a ball which i've had happen to me three times which is a pretty big hassle so that's why i put this at number eight Back to North Myrtle for number 7 at Muni Bay Adventure Golf. Muni Bay Adventure Golf houses 36 holes with a big pirate ship in the middle, lots of waterfalls, some long interesting holes, and some interesting concepts for mini golf. They have these things called mischief spinners, and so what you do is you go up to a hole that has it, you spin the wheel, and it has challenges on the wheel. So if you have to putt with your eyes closed, 
uh, play the hole in 10 seconds or receive a two-stroke penalty or remove the stroke limit from the hole. You have to do that for the hole. And those are just some of the ones that I've landed on personally. Um, it was also part of Paradise Adventure Golf, a chain of mini golf courses adding Mutiny Bay, Cancun Lagoon, and Molten Mountain together. You can buy a hopper pass for like $20, and you can play all day at all three of those locations for like 20 bucks. So it's a really good grab, and I recommend this course highly. Speaking of one of Mutiny Bay's sister locations, number six is Cancun Lagoon. Cancun Lagoon is a Mayan temple-themed mini golf, which also has 27 holes of golf and the Miss Shift Spinners as well. Some holes are indoors, some holes are outdoors. There is one nine-hole course that is completely outdoors, while the other two start inside and work their way outside. It is a very interesting layout, considering that it has 27 holes, but the holes here are insane. You have a couple that are wrapping around the outside. The last hole on the outside course I don't know what the outside course is called, it is very, very long. It's like a hundred and something feet, but that's why I have it at number six. Number five, we have Captain Hook's Adventure Golf. Captain Hook is based off the Disney characters from Neverland. You got Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, the Lost Boys, and Captain Hook, obviously. They have the Lost Boys course and Captain Hook's course. They have a pretty amazing skull cave. They have a lot of waterfalls. It looks amazing at night. And you get to go aboard Captain Hook's ship, so I mean, what more can you ask? Though this is not in association with Disney, which is weird. But personally, this is one of my favorites, and I always go here. I think I've played it about nine times now, so I love it. Coming in at number four, we have another favorite of mine. We have Professor Hacker's Lost Treasure Golf. Professor Hacker's does something that no other golf course I've seen do. They have a train that takes you up to the highest point on the course, which is where you start, and you play your way down, along with giant waterfalls, kind of a remote swamp. The holes here range in difficulty. The cups have a metal lip around them, which at uh, metal-lipped courses, they kind of suck because some, the ball can roll around easier. But the, there's bricks instead of rocks like some courses, as well as a lot of water hazards. Uh, a lot of variation and a lot of slopes. This course is very, very unique in its style. And I like especially that there's a giant waterfall that kind of cuts the course in the middle. It's kind of a nice, kind of a drawing aspect from the road. You can see the waterfall from the road and the train from the road, which is a nice draw into the course. Coming in at number three, we have Jungle Lagoon Golf. Jungle Lagoon is located in central Myrtle Beach, and it has two courses. They have the Lagoon Course and the Jungle Course. That hole that you just saw, the giant hill, is on the Lagoon Course. It is probably the most popular hole at this location. This can go up and down a lot. It has a lot of holes. The holes are actually kind of bigger here. They're a little bigger than regulation. I think they're about five inches in diameter instead of four and a quarter. So it's a lot easier to make a hole-in-one, but the holes are definitely longer here. And there are more of the skill shots. There's open water hazards. There's that giant hill that can send you about 30 feet away. So all in all, this is one of my personal favorites. At number two, we have Molten Mountain. Molten Mountain is another sister location of Cancun Lagoon and Mutiny Bay, which are also on this list. Uh, this house is 18 holes indoors inside the active volcano, as well as 18 holes outdoors. Both courses offer a unique challenge. The challenge on the inside is that the holes aren't, aren't necessarily rock, but they're concrete, and they're kind of shaping like magma, so it's kind of hit or miss when you hit the rocks, as well as the lighting. The lighting is horrible inside. It kind of gives you that uh, lava cavern type feel because they have filters on the lights, but it is also a lot harder to see kind of the intricate little breaks and the slope and the greens, so it is a lot harder to see where the slope is on the green, therefore you might misread a putt and miss the hole entirely. Uh, the outdoor course also features the mischief spinners, which have the challenges. I went over those at Con Cancun Lagoon. Um, this is in North Myrtle. It's just shy of Little River, and Honestly, the first time I ever played this, I didn't know how to feel about the indoor course because I had never played an indoor course, but I was blown away with how it was. They actually used to have orange and red carpet on the inside to act like 
you were putting on magma, but unfortunately they removed that and replaced it with green carpeting, which it doesn't look horrible, but all in all, this is one of my personal favorites. Before we get to the number one spot, here are a few honorable mentions. Topping off our list at number one is Mount Atlanticus Minotaur Golf. Mount Atlanticus is located in downtown Myrtle Beach, and it has been ranked the number one mini golf course in the world multiple times, as well as my personal favorite course. You can win a lifetime free pass on the 19th hole, which is near impossible, while you play one of their two courses, the Minotaur or the Conch. They both start out with the first two holes being indoors, but the next holes go all the way up, some as tall as four stories, giving you a great view of the ocean. The 18th hole on one of the courses, I don't remember which, is two stories tall, where you start on an upper level, you hit it through a pipe, and it pops out on the lower level. They also have holes in caves, and as one of the holes right here is a labyrinth. This is also the only course I have ever seen to change the hole locations. They have several hole locations on almost every single hole to where they change it. There are some holes, like this one for example, which is really really long and there's only one hole on it because it's in a little dip on the bottom. All in all, this is my favorite course and has by far been my, it's been my favorite course for almost 10 years now. I can't wait to go back and play this again. This course, just so many memories and it is my lowest round ever in mini golf, which is a 26 which here is really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me a like and a comment if you guys want to see me do more top 10s. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>